What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages? Welcome back to the AOA Reacts channel. I'm your host, as always, Ian, along with the boys, Isaiah. Oh, hi, yo. And Gavin. What is Gucci Shoes? And finally, we are reacting to the much requested anime. And by much requested, I mean a select few. You know who you are. Uh, 86. So I have heard good things about this. And I wanted to just get out in front of this and say that we have already watched the first episode. So. Judging by this title, you're like, wait a minute, where's episode one? We already watched it. We did it on a live stream, but the editing on that one just looked like garbage, and we didn't want to watch it again and not have a genuine reaction to what was going on. So we understand that Lena is now in charge of this spearhead group, the 86, and uh, they got their, you know, their reputation for making all the previous handlers either off themselves, unfortunately, or retire or, you know, request transfer, whatever the case might be. And Shin, their leader, has this, like, bad boy reputation, but he's probably, like, a softy at heart. Who knows? Whatever. We have the premise for the first episode, so just in case you guys are like, you don't know what's going on, um, we're good on that front. We're going to start from episode two and continue on for the rest of the series. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I heard that this is kind of like this you know, thriller, uh, there's like the psychological element to it mm -hmm. as well, where it really makes you think and uh, ask these like morally, you know, sometimes ambiguous questions, mm -hmm. uh, which is something that I love about anime and just storytelling in general, when a story can make you really sit back and think about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is what we're going to do. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure you're smashing like on the video, subbing to the channel, hitting the bell so you don't miss any future 86 reactions along with the others on the channel, and comment your thoughts down below. What did you think of this episode of 86, our reaction to it? We'll usually have some banter after every episode, so t uh, stay tuned for that if you want to catch our initial thoughts and review of that episode in particular. Let us know what you thought about that, if you agree, disagree, etc. And definitely refer down in our description there to our links if you want to support the show in other ways. Uh, we have the AOA show, our main channel, if you want to support us there. We drop things like skits, video essays, uh, podcasts, vlogs, etc. It's all there for you guys to enjoy. Patreon's a big one. Uh, I definitely recommend that you check that out because you will get early access to our 86 live reactions as well as having them in an unfiltered, unedited format. But you have to be a patron in order to do that. So if you're tired of seeing the edited style here with the filters and the, the lower volume and dodging all the copyright BS, then you definitely want to kind of head over to Patreon to support us there and uh, you'll get exclusive benefits while doing so win win hit us up on socials the whole nine i could plug it all but definitely go check it out it's all down there for you guys to enjoy anyway without further ado we're gonna get into some 86 let's see some robots go ham yeah. what the hell is that oh boy I I felt like she felt like he was going to be like, I hate you. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then she was just like a sigh of relief. Yeah. It's one of these OPs where it's just like, you feel like <laughs> you're just heads being scrambled. I feel like certain anime have this. It's like a style. Low-key, dude, her job seems like gets a little lonely, you know, in there. Yeah. I don't know. I'm staring at like 12 monitors a day. That cat's my favorite character. <laughs> Very curious to find out why this like Republic hates these uh the eighty six they call them. Mm. Um, cause like it better be some shit more than like they look different. Oh, it's why like, they don't like them? Yeah, I think yeah, they're wow, from like wow. a different region or some bullshit. You know what I mean? It's like oh. I guess it's the same actor. Yeah, yeah, if you really think about it. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 
Probably because they're being shot at. <laughs> That's a cool logo. Wow. Damn. I guess he lives a pretty hard life, too. <laughs> yeah, right? I think this is a week later. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Couldn't tell if they're playing basketball or volleyball. <laughs> Both. They should be playing ball. <laughs> Just playing ball. <laughs> I had a feeling that by rain, they didn't mean just like your standard rain. It was like, you're going to die if you're out in it. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Seems fitting. Okay. Damn. Those robots are kind of sweet. They are kind of. They, they do look dope. <laughs> they only equip us with the best. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> All right, keep it in your pants. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, there's a really big one in the back. That means he's the boss. <laughs> oh, they look way more, uh, yeah. you know, uh, technologically sound yeah. than what we got ro rocking. Nah, they're just cleaner. <laughs> Dragon type go. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh shit, we're coming out with variety. Damn, shit. dog. Are those like electronic bugs or whatever up in the sky? Yep. Yeah. Also, like, do we need backup? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they got like, no backup. Kind of like hilariously outnumbered here. I mean, I guess on the bright side is they're like people and those are drone drones. So. I think. Yeah. Although that might be a twist that the other side's also using people. Can you imagine that? 
You know what I mean? It's like the whole time they think they're killing drones, but it's like the other side's been using people and they're like all killing each other for these other people's wars. I don't know. <laughs> the sound. He's like, got it. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Yo, that's sick. That is pretty dope. Dude, in this song? So there's no handler for this one, too. So this is just them. Well, she did come on. Yeah, she she is there. She is? Yeah, oh. Yeah. I thought they said there wasn't. All right, my bad. No, she, like, made a comment before they started. Oh, okay. I don't know how active she's going to be in there, like, yeah. in the battle, because they kind of actually seem to have it, like, figured out. Yeah. Um, or Undertaker seems to be pretty good at giving commands, but... This bug is about to catch I hands. <laughs> what are these things? Oh. <laughs> They're mini little gun things, I guess. I don't know I what the hell. Guess it's like that's the. Support wow, you got balls, guns. dog. I'm assuming that's him. Oh yeah, of course it is. You know he's. A Whoa, savage. he knows something's going down. Oh. oh. Wow. This would make a pretty dope video game, logo. right? <laughs> Except with, like, real people not dying. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Deaded. <laughs> Oh, Fido or whatever is their little ammo guy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw my dance and I was like, what is this thing doing? <laughs> Maybe they are actually drones because yeah, so their too. formation seems very yeah, drone like. It is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Plus, I'd imagine like <laughs> they're moving like robots. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Damn, damn, dude, that damn. thing moves fast. <laughs> in a hyperdrive for a second there. Oh, oh, oh you're dead. He's right down the gullet. Damn. Da what the? F Where are the controls for this? That's crazy. He is the controls. <laughs> yeah. <Also, he's> the <laughs> <laughs> he's just button mashing, dude. 100%. Yeah. Inside the pit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's some fight stick shit. You know, he's yeah, yeah, right? the buttons on the he's side. He's like, no, I do this every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Up, down, left, right, B, A. Yo, that's sick. That was that was pretty dope. Like, where the fuck you go? Right here. <laughs> He's pulled this trick on you like five <laughs> times. Come on. But see, if they're robots, they're like, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, dude. Savage. He's like the main character. Sort sort of. Of. Also, you can't call someone Undertaker and they can't not be a bad <laughs> Yeah, that is, that is like, true. You need to revoke the name if they yeah, don't live up to that it. It sounds like a dude who like eats people for a living. <laughs> Like, all right, we're gonna go home. Yeah. <laughs> Back at it at nine a.m. <laughs> Day's work. Damn, Shane, giving us that look, huh? Mm. You just that, uh, that pro tag stands. Yeah, all right. Sunlight coming. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause, everyone. <laughs> oh, it's from her point of view. You're on your list, Stellar. You're my guy. <laughs> How funny would it be if he's reading this lesson from that book? Like he's not even teaching. <laughs> <laughs> I literally think he is. <laughs> Pay attention, would you? <laughs> There's no respect in <laughs> Jeez. They're talking about the latest TikTok they watched. He's out there falling asleep. <laughs>
Oh, interesting concept. The enemy is going to shut down, apparently. I feel like that's a front, and that's why he looked at the soldier that's mm-hmm. standing there, because that's not really true. Yeah, I agree. Oh, snap. Whoa, dude. Probably shouldn't be saying that. He's like, don't <laughs> say that. Like, You're not yeah. allowed to interrupt the lesson. <laughs> Get the hell up and salute. <laughs> wow. That professor must feel like a real idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, bro. You just lose your human rights if you don't got silver hair. <laughs> it's actually crazy. Damn. <laughs> He's like, all right, this might go off the rails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no way these kids believe her. Damn, bro. <laughs> Yo, these students are just like firing oh shots back. I not expect. Like, oh shit, we don't have a comeback for that. This is interesting that in episode two, like, she's just yeah. like, here yeah, I come. Like, I'm going to just, like, yeah. flip the lid on all this. I love that he also waited for her to get that whole introduction. <laughs> yeah, like, right. Um, you shouldn't say any of this. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what? Everybody's got to be a teenager. Just going through the rest. He's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> she won't stop talking. <laughs> oh, <what> was that? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle's pulling out a lot of stops because it doesn't seem like the first time you've done this. They're getting married. Oh, it's trippy. All right, thank you. <laughs> Put that back. <laughs> what the 
flowers died. Sorry, we'll get windows. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear what they're saying, bro. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, so what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nothing. <laughs> I'll be over in 10. <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say? Her parents ain't home and you just see him hopping one of those juggernauts. <laughs> it's just so tall and ass. <laughs> Wait, that's weird. That was so it. I, it's at 18 minutes. I feel ripped off. Maybe Wait, maybe uh, something will happen after the credits. It's got it. Oh, yeah. There's like a whole thing. All right. I guess we'll sit for the ED. We'll, we'll. Why is the show just decide to do everything out of order? It's not right. They're like, here's the episode. And then midway through, they're like, there's a title, by the way. <laughs> like, then the three quarters of the way through the credits, then it's another thing. I'm like, what's happening? Huh. All right. So these flowers mean something. Mm-hmm. I like the song. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I always do that with... With anything that's like Japanese music in comparison to like American music, like I'll listen to like you know any American song, and I'm like, I'll have to like go through the whole three minutes before I'm like, uh, I think I like that song. But like two seconds into a Japanese song, I'm like, this is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it probably helps that I can't understand what they're saying. <laughs> Definitely, as well. You know what I mean? Because you just like if you like the melody and the vibe that it's given off, then that's you don't you, you know. don't know what. Yeah, that's all you need to know. Yeah, you know, yeah, just repeats. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, hey. Same day. <laughs> First of all, swallow your food. <laughs> Point two oh eight. Mm. Kitty. What? Mm. Wait, why does she have that color hair? Why isn't the cat getting any bread? I think it's like it's not the same color. It's not it's different white. hue. Like, why would they do that? <laughs> Give her brown yeah. hair and just make it easy for me, please, because now I don't know what the hell's happening. <laughs> Is that her? I'm freaking confused. No, she's that white white fox thing. She, you saw her in one of the oh. yeah earlier in one of the. She had her own. Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> okay, get out of here. <laughs> you could at least stand up. Oh, okay, she just looked hella similar. Just killing time. <laughs> All right.
and the cat. The cat's been with him. <laughs> I don't think that's happening, though. Mm-hmm. Maybe it will. I don't know. I'm confused. Everybody's got their head on backwards in the show, apparently. At him. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Show him love. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. <laughs> I don't share this. Okay. Would, uh, that would definitely be inconvenient. Yeah, interesting stuff. So I'm like, uh, you know, I'll echo it. Like I said before, I'm, I was very taken aback by the fact that she was so blatant with telling the students they're being lied to. Mm-hmm. And telling them the truth. Now, I guess that's the irony is that because she's so loud about it, you know, you'd think it's like these people are going to shut her up. But obviously she has connections, which we know her uncle is pulling some strings. So she has that going for her. But also it seems like a lot of the students didn't really feel like hearing it anyway Mm -hmm. and would rather not take the time to think about an alternative course of action or what the truth might be. Because if they if they can justify in their own minds as to why, like no matter what she says, if they're able to deflect it back to her, even if it's the most ridiculous argument ever in order to satisfy their own needs, Mm -hmm. then they don't have to take the time to be like, whoa, everything that we've known here is a lie and we need to work on making it better. Mm -hmm. Um, Which, you know, can be related to a lot of people in the modern world, (laughs) I feel like, uh, which is something that's pretty sad. You know, a lot of people, what, you know, in different situations don't, would rather not hear the truth because the truth, not only does it hurt, but it requires work to get to the surface of, you know, and uh, sometimes it it takes a breaking down of your ego to, to accept that you may be wrong or what you've been taught is wrong. And that's something that not everyone is, is I don't want to say not capable because I believe that everyone is capable, but I don't think most people are willing to do. And uh, so that was just a blatant example of it here. So I guess once she said, said her spiel and the kids just didn't, or the teenagers did just didn't seem to give a damn. I was like, okay, I guess she's fine. Yeah, you know, I think because she, because she's the only one who seems to outwardly and like v- loudly share this opinion. Um, she probably gets passed off as a radical mm. and like not taken seriously whatsoever. Um, because like you said, you know, these kids and, and presumably the rest of the society, uh, you know, would rather just go with the flow and, and just keep getting, just eat what they're fed and not, you know, bite the hand that feeds them type beat. Cause yeah, it does take a lot of work to, you know, to sort of get to the truth, but it also usually requires you to admit that you have been complacent in a immoral system, right. To some extent that you have, while maybe not directly participated in something, actively contributed to the like continuation of said thing. Sure. Right. These kids didn't personally throw any of the, uh, um, the 86 in these camps, but they're willfully benefiting and living in the society and like without questioning any of the things that are going on. Um, just, I mean, like just the fact that she's just the fact that she's saying this and bringing this up, I, you know, I normally, you know, would lead, I would think in your mind be like, well, okay. Even if she's being weird, like, what if you know what I mean? But there's there there's none of that. There's no question. There's no thinking about it. There is no there is no other option because any other option immediately puts all of these people in some level of you know the wrong side of things, which mm-hmm. they can't they don't want to have any of. Yeah. Um, which yeah sucks. <laughs> and quite honestly, if it doesn't affect them, why do they need to care? That's you know, and that's that's the other thing with society. It's like if it's not they're not in any way directly affected by it. It's not. It's not their family. It's not anyone that they know. So uh, for all means purposes, they're like, it's irrelevant. Why even talk about it? Uh, Yeah. If anything, it makes their life more difficult if they, you know what I mean, if they admit it. Because then it's like, well, now we got to actually start caring for these people. And that means that some of the things that you've been entitled to maybe get a little bit downgraded. And they're like, Mm -hmm. whoa, yeah, no. What, what, human? No, they're not human. Get out of here. Right? So that that's the other layer on top of it. Mm-hmm. Which makes it all the more likely that they're not going to want to, you know, change or accept uh, something else is potentially the truth. But, uh, you know, is what it is in this. And this is why, you know, we have the show here. I um, I thought it was going to be more, you know, our main character here. Um, fudge, I forgot her Lena. name. Lena, thank you. Uh, seems a little more tentative and has to kind of like earn 
her oats, as it were, you know, kind of like, you know, uh, like I thought she was going to be more, I thought that the, the, un, the, um, 86 team or whatever, the spearhead team was going to, I don't want to say treat her with more respect because they think they do respect her in a sense, but they don't, right? Because they drew her as a pig and they're shooting her on the cans and stuff like that. That's the well, thing. That wasn't, you know? I don't think that was her. That was that was their previous, the handlers. previous handler. Oh, was it? Yeah, she's yeah, the seventh so. then? Oh, yeah, I thought the I thought they one. drew her as yeah, the thing because yeah. I didn't see an X on it. I mean, I, I do think that they don't have a lot of respect for her, but yeah. I think it's because of the past six handlers. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So it's not, quite frankly, I don't think it's anything personal. I think they're just like, no, 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 agreed, yeah. the mill, like, we know how this goes. You know, we're not expecting it. Yeah. yeah. You don't care about us. We don't care about you. Yeah. We'll just leave it at that. But yeah, on her, but on her end too, she seems a little more like tentative with, you know, how she has to be. She's like, I'm going to scold you, but you know, and she's like, you know, she's already mm. kind of got the flutters for Shin and all that kind of stuff. And they've yeah, yeah. never well, met in person like, yet. So she even says it. She, when, she, when she was scolding him, she's like, you know, I, I get why you have, you've just been sending the same report. Right. Cause like, I mean, she's not wrong. Like he was doing that because he's like, why the fuck would I care to do it? Then you got like, no, none of the other six handlers that I've had have even bothered to read them. So why would I waste time writing on like, so she's like, no, it makes sense. That's our, as a, as, as a handler and as our organization, like that's on our, we should be doing that. You know what I mean? We should be reading those reports. We haven't been. So why would you send them? But you know, now she's like, but I, I will. So please start Mm -hmm. doing that. Yeah. So it's interesting to see her kind of step into this, leadership role Mm -hmm. as it were this handler role and to kind of gain even more self-confidence when it comes to directing these guys because it it definitely seems like shin is still calling a lot of the shots and because he's mvp on their team he could just like solo them (laughs) um but there's going to be point and you know it seems like it's not that she's getting in the way per se, but it's like, I'm going to tell you how to do your job. You know what I mean? Cause I've been around doing this. Like yeah. you don't do this, do that. So, you know, her coming into, into her own and being like, no, I, I got this. Like you're going to need me because you, you're not going to be able to do all this alone. will be interesting to see. Um, so yeah, I don't know how this, you know, how the dynamics going to shake up, but wonder like what, what specifically were the events that drove the other handlers, you know, uh, yeah. like mad or whatever? Mm, because me too. they were making comments about the fact that, um, uh, I forget the guy that Shin was sitting with when they were ta- eating dinner mm-hmm. and talking, but he's like, so what did you think of that 208 that she called? And he's Shin's like, it's pretty standard procedure. Like, that's probably what any handler would assume, like, to do. That's not what they did. Because, again, I think the spirit group is so tight-knit now and so sort of, like, anti-handler that... They run their own book here. And Shin probably has enough battle experience where he's like, he might make a play that's like tactically or, or logistically not the smartest move to make, but he mm-hmm. knows his team can pull it off. And so I wonder like if there's just like this weird growing disconnect between the handlers and the spearhead group that made the handlers like sort of like disconnect with like, well, I, I, you know what I mean? I not not only that, but they don't send the battle reports on what's going in. So they're just going off of the generic knowledge of any normal fight. So like mm-hmm. if they're not getting information saying, Hey, this, you know, this formation doesn't work or being at this place doesn't work. Whoever the handler is doesn't know because they're not actually read like they never read the reports to, be, to begin yeah, with. Yeah, so they're yeah. going off of generic information. So I feel like when he does start sending this stuff in, she's going to put the time in to become more synchronized in with their them, format right. yeah, with them. To like add to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. That yeah. Because that's why I feel like he's like, yeah, that's what everybody says, because they don't know any differently because they don't know how we fight. They don't right. know. They they're don't just, know anything that's they're just reading a manual. basically. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. now once that starts getting nipped in the bud and they're getting that more detailed info, I feel like that's going to allow her to synchronize more with them. Yeah. Yeah. Will it? like barring them being willing of that help. Mm. So yeah. yeah. Cause yeah, it has to be some pretty drastic stuff for them to be like, Oh, I'm going to quit or commit suicide or whatever the case might be. Well, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Cause it, yeah. Cause it wasn't like, ah, I'm retiring, been doing this for six yeah, years. It was it's like, like, get they, me away they from they them. Went mad. Like, yeah. They went it's crazy. like, what, like, how do you go? Like, that's a pretty high level of stress. Yeah. Like, right. I get, so the other thing that I, I, I feel like I remember them alluding to this in the first episode is that the um, the technology that they use to for the handler to link mm-hmm. with them like is very taxing on the mind. And so maybe there's a point where like because of everything that the undertakers um, and, you know, just the 86 unit in general goes through and the fact that they don't follow like, I, mean, I don't know, I'm trying to think like maybe the fact of what they do I, like is somehow like extra or overtaxing on the handlers as opposed to a regular unit that maybe f- like follows mm. more standard procedures. Yeah, I don't know. But I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. And then one more thing that I'm like, maybe I was overlooking it, but it was interesting how she was saying our, our hearts 
are like aligned, like our hearts are in sync. There was a point where she was talking to the girl on the computer um, and she's like, oh, what are you going to do now? And she comes in and like the robe and her uniform's hanging up and it's doing a pan up on her uniform. And yeah. like, there's the two links and she's like, yeah, we're becoming more in sync or whatever. And then one of them, one, one of them fell. came off yeah. and fell. And I wonder if that is just, you know, random or if that has any sim symbology or foreshadowing about, you know, maybe they're not, you know what I mean? Like yeah. there's going to be something that happens that she thinks that's the case, but she doesn't yeah. actually know him or something like or that. And she's kind of got the jitters oh, for him now. Mm -hmm. You know, she's maybe got this the like thing. Works like the, the, the device they use to link it, like, and the, the connection starts to become too real. Yeah. And, like, everything that the 86 people feel on the battlefield, like sort of translates to her mind in a weird way. So it like literally like hurts mm, her, her mind. Maybe. And so maybe that's what drove the other. Um, yeah. She you know, feels because, it because this group is so, uh, you know, aggressive and un, you know, not traditional in terms of their battle tactics. Sure, they probably get in a lot more danger. So, like, you know mm. what I mean? That's probably more taxing on the the mind. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It could be some interesting stuff. Definitely. Anyway, we're excited to continue this show. Hopefully, you guys are too. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure you are smashing like, commenting your thoughts down below. What did you think of this episode? Our reaction to it and our banter afterwards. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell so you don't miss any future 86 reactions among the others that we cover on the channel. Hit us up in the description down below if you want to support the show even further by hitting up the AOA show, our Patreon, our Discord if you want to join and talk anime with some of the brilliant people in there, our social media media it's all there for you guys to have access to but until next time thank you so much for watching we will catch you all on the flip peace peace peace, peace. ninjas are samurais blaze of the cool knives find me in the leaf of the cloud screaming out bankai we just some ghouls though who like seeing parts fly they like what you saying goma got more through the storylines i Tested your neck from the start my hundreds gonna come for your heart i promise you'll land in my boulevard left them in one piece no